e-tourism as a tool for socio-economic development. <coughs> the impact on of tourism on socio-economic development has been the subject of several publications by practitioners and academics alike over the last few decades. In fact, tourism is seen as a diverse, di diversification activity able to restructure the income sources of entire communities. These courses about the impact of tourism have taken into account different views about the source of development. For example, public or private development and its influence. The United Nations World Tourism Organization declared 2017 the year of sustainable tourism for development, driving the attention on the issue and effectively endorsing tourism as a possible driver of development. There is a missing element within this discussion which is related to the impact of digital technologies in supporting and or enabling the rural developing transformation of rural place through tourism. However, the research community recently started to acknowledge the importance of digital technology in this field. It is in fact recognized that on the one side digital communication technology have reshaped the competitive landscape of tourism, whereas on the other side, information and communication technology, ICT, can strongly support community-based socio-economic development. Therefore, it seems that the intersection between these two research areas is rather natural or should be developed further. Unfortunately, not many researchers are actually investigating the strategic and tactical role of digital communication technologies in community-based tourism for socio-economic development, leading to a research gap in the literature what is even more surprising is the fact that there is scant research proposing a holistic and yet punctual reflection on the use and impact of ICTs and digital communication technology in these fields. This chapter aims at fostering discuss discussion on this topic, proposing an alternative view of digital technologies in the tourism field. In the following pages, we examine and discuss some of the work that looks at the intersection of tourism. Digital technologies and socio-economic development with a clear focus on community-based development, the chapter starts, starts with a discussion of the role of tourism for development, arguing for these missing elements within the academic narrative. This is followed by the conceptualization of e-tourism for development. Following this, the, sus the sustainable livelihood approach in conjunction with the use of digital technology in tourism is presented. The role of technology in tourism is examined with the proposal for a paradigm shift with regard to their function within the socio-economic development 
feel for bringing the locus of sustainability within the community rather than outside of it. Tourism and developing countries. The nature of tourist contribution to developing and emerging economies is very controversial today. In general, it is possible to assert that due to its inner characteristic, tourism can facilitate community development and poverty eradication because it is labor intensive and inclusive of women and the informal sector and often based on the natural and cultural heritage of rural communities. However, the active and vivid debate taking place among academics a lot derives from the two different understandings and interpretation of the concept of development. On one side, authors who are more familiar with business Related subjects seem to be more prone to regard development as the technical and infrastructure development of the destination. On the other side, researchers who are more familiar with human geography related subjects tend to interpret development as socio-economic development where the focus is on human beings rather than the, the destination. Advocates of the infrastructural development approach would argue that the advent of tourism in rural and developing areas endorsed by natural beauty helps and facilitates the creation of new infrastructures such as street, railway, cable cars, travel-related services such as accommodation and the development of the local economy. This is based on creation of new attraction and new jobs. Conversely, supporters of community-based development see tourism as, as a practice where the focus on the actual local people, who should be fully involved in the design and delivery of travel experience, bringing forward their heritage and building immersive and transformative experience. Within these two extremes, there are also arguments that blend the positive aspects of these two practices. In fact, tourism in rural and developing areas support skill developments exposed to the world beyond their immediate locality. Better, better access to education, health care, clean water and transportation. Increased confidence and sense of ownership of the enterprise and the neighborhood in which the tourist enterprise is situated. The growth of tourist destination in developing countries has been led historically by private companies which created the basis for tourism to flourish is in designed areas. These companies choose to create accommodation and infrastructures in cherry-picked seaside destination in the global south, in most cases with the support of local government. While it's possible to argue that this investment led to better use of the land, which the involvement of local, this can create essentially two distortions. A post-colonial situation with a poor working class for rich travelers which minimal or non-existent contribution to the local community. A total dependence of this newly created destination on international operators. These operators could therefore decide to promote and sell the destination in developed markets, based on a series of economic, political and social factors. In recent years, governments have, have become more and more involved in the requalification of rural areas, Develop, developing specific funding programs aimed at transforming the primary source of income for local rural communities, which are often based on agriculture and breeding, fostering the culture of tourism and hospitality. 
Although these problems were mostly deployed in developed countries, they represent successful experience of economy renovation with the local community at the center of the projects. However, a common challenge, both for public and private approaches, lies in the sustainability of the tourist initiative over time. If there is no value, uh, for example, economic, emotional, and social, for community dealers, once the public funding runs out and all the destination is considered fully explored. They would not have developed any sense of ownership and therefore both the community and the tourists would collapse. None, none else, there is also evidence of communities successfully blending traditional sources of income. Example, farming and breed, with hospitality and tourist practices, leading to hybrid communities, leverage aging the pros and cons of both economic approaches. Community-based on tourism. The academic literature has often advocated the inclusion and involvement of local communities in the tourism for development area. Communities are in fact seen as the key resource for sustainable tourism development. However, despite efforts to involve all stakeholders, finding an equitable outcome of tourism development has been problematic. In fact, existing power structures are difficult to overcome and development they may be obstructed by the short-term goals of private organization and governments. Research also highlights that specific social groups such as women may be excluded from tourist development, further culture, educational ethnical and political historic condition may prevent the locals fr from deriving benefits from tourist development. The negative impact of tourism in development ca developing countries, in fact, CBT puts uh, community-based tourism puts the community in control with variable degree of tourism development and exposes it to the risks as well as the benefits of this venture. If communities are involved in tourism development and have access to resources, financial services, skill sets in management marketing and entrepreneurship. Tourist projects can become effective in alleviating poverty. Tourist policies should integrate this as way for successful tourist project implementation and skill building facilitation. Moreover, the approach of community-based tourism aims to widen the included industry benefits through integrating local business in the value chain of touristic venture and enabling locals to utilize a touristic infrastructure with, with which effectively work towards poverty alleviation, diversification and reduction of pressure on land through agriculture activities. In this way, tourism development and the associated policies both support and foster development of local communities 
and improved socio-economic conditions and social conhenge. These projects will need to be planned, monitored, and evaluated as well as being designed by integrating locals' opinion for an effective outcome. The CPT approach allows for, allows for alternative forms of tourism and alternative markets, including sustainable tourism, ecotourism, ethical tourism, and volunteer tourism. These alternative typologies of tourism are dri driven by a growing demand for products and services that are more sustainable, pro poor, and less harmful to local environments and communities. Community participation is often regarded as one of the most essential tools for driving tourists toward a substantial contribution to the local region and national development of a country. Therefore, the result of real and deep involvement of communities in tourist activities can be related to sustainability, better opportunities for local people, positive local attitudes, and the conservation of local resources. E-tourism for development. The concept of, of e-tourism for development was developed to highlight the power of ICTs and digital media in tourism for developing countries. This could be applied to tourism and hospitality, The concept of e-tourism for development was de developed to highlight the power of ICTs and digital media in tourism for developing countries. This could be applied to tourism and hospitality initiatives led by local communities. In fact, it is proposed that communities can leverage digital communication technologies to design, deliver and promote their travel-related products and or experience to the wider public. e tourism for, for development can have an impact on several aspects of the life cycle of travel and tourist products, from conceptualization towards operation management and to the market. This could have a clear impact both on the actual travel product design, development, and rollout, and on the local socio-economic development of the community. In fact, within this concept, digital technology and digital E-tourism for development can have an impact on several aspects of the life cycle of travel and tourist products from conceptualization towards operation management and to the marketing. This could have a clear impact both on the actual travel products design, development and rollout. Digital technology and digital media actually empower local communities essentially in two ways. By exposing their offering, their peculiarities, and ultimately their competitive strengths, strengths to the interested travelers, and by creating an organizational and information 
driving backbone where business from the formal and informal economy could collaborate. The e-tourism for development approach challenge, challenge the vision of Qatar and Akama who were describing an oligopolistic scenario in developing and emerging economies dominated by big private companies such as tour operators and travel agencies with high marketing power determining the visitation to the destination additionally it is tours for development also challenge the post Col colonialist approach of tourism which is seen to create a local and poor working class for the international rich visitors in fact with this approach local community are empowered each and every business can have its its virtual size and be for example an accommodation provider as long as tourist services provided should could be finally on the map The main component of e-tourism for, for development. Three main area have been considered that refer to three main bodies of knowledge that could contribute to generating a better understanding of all issues at stake. Tourism for develop tourist project in rural and developing areas has been acknowledged as a phenomenal phenomenal tools for developing infrastructure used by travelers as well as by locals. Despite this, literature shows the short sighted nature of these projects which in most of the cases did not involve the local population in the design and planning process, leading to a lack of skills, development and involvement of locals. Moreover, academic investigating the local community's perception of tourism detected that this was not favorable due to a low involvement of local in the destination development process. For example, the tourism product portfolio in East Africa has been found to be narrow, and researchers suggested that in order to augment the integration of travel practices into the local economy, other assets such as culture, landscape, and events need to be incorporated. This goes along with a higher degree of cooperation within the local authorities with the goal of fostering the involvement of communities. As described in the literature, despite efforts to involve all stakeholders, an equitable outcome of tourist development has been found to be problematic, as existing power structures are difficult to overcome. However, what this stream of literature focuses on, on is the possibility of overcoming a reductionist interpretation of tourism for development. To, re to refocus on the agenda of community-based socio-economic impact, in fact, exploitative tourism has been challenged historically, and alternative forms of tourism arose with a renewed focus on local sustainability and community development. Touring studies, studies and ICT, it is possible to claim that the advent of ICTs has completely revolutionized the field of tourism, redefining its competitive structure by blending the field of informatics, communication, and travel business. This produced a paradigm shift as information and communication technologies can effectively support marketing example bringing to the attention of the travelers a given offer and operation bringing effective support to the travel and tourist value chain 
example enabling an effective management of products and service ICT are used as a communication platform connecting with suppliers and guests also states that tourist business are driven to utilize ICT this enables tailoring the tourist product to customer needs sharing information and on operational data utilizing and enabling user generated contents and facilitating the trend of mobile service suspected to be beneficial to revenue as well as to managing the tourist supply chain and purchasing practices Bohalis and Likata predicted the increasing competition of tourism distribution channels distinguish it by value-added service and becoming a competitor to traditional distribution channels over the years the different uptake of information and communication technology by the travel sectors has been identified through variation in the rate of acceptance and usage by different tourist business being shown in literature this variation depends on availability of appropriate technology the size of tourist enterprise and the attitude of the management towards technology however the advent of digital technology impacted the competitiveness of the field which is small enterprises gaining the possibility of being exposed to a wider market and creating a virtual size within the scenario it's also grow, grow, grow important to engage with customer because it has begun has been demonstrated that customers are becoming increasingly ICT tourism liter literate with growing e-booking numbers depending slightly on the region of origin, demographics and travel characteristics. Development and ICT It has been theorized that ICT is an indicator of the social economic development of a region. Frameworks have been developed to measure a country welfare and development according to, to its ICT adaptation and the lighter literacy skills of its population as well as the dependence of everyday activities on the internet. It conceptualizes the introduction of ICT in the lives of citizens, right to information and self-empowerment. Moreover, The opportunity for access to ICT allow communities to free to uh, the freedom to choose how to use them for personal and community growth. In addition to this, the coloration of ICT access and socioeconomic In addition to this, the coloration of ICT access and socio-economic development, the widening gap between well-served and underserved communities in relation to ICT has to be addressed and the, the access to wireless broadband service has to be supported. Community needs have to be constantly reassessed and the requirement of rural population have to be given attention. Since both researchers and local intervention projects are often looking at the present, present and past and assume that only narrow information is required. However, given the speed of uh, propagation of ICT, these projects need to be more forward-looking. There is a need to, for information system to be adapted to transform knowledge successfully and to be socially embedded in the community. 
ICT is can mediate structure of this empowerment in a transformative way having an impact both on political and economic. What is clear is, is that ICT and digital media could have a key role to play in achieving the Millennium Development Goals. In recent decades, a new interdisciplinary field of research emerged called ICT for Development, Information and Communication Technology for Development, bring together computer science, science and social science, tackling a broad range of development domain, such as, as, as agriculture, health, education, and political participation. Information and Communication Technology for Development ultimately focus on the differ differential value technology could bring in the context of socio-economic development at different levels example education inclusion and business intersection of three domains tra traditionally the, these three domains have not been very connected for example Riga and Inversini demonstrate in a previous research that the travel and tourist domain is effectively underrepresented in discourses about digital technology and socio-economic development. However, a set of work within the stream of literature focus on entrepreneurship and suggest micro, small, and medium-sized enterprises as the unit of analysis to investigate the interweaving of technology and development. Effective use of ICTs by SM SMTs and MSTs in developing context can enhance business visibility and competitiveness and therefore improve the socio-economic condition of local communities. Worldwide, uh, uh, this figure shows the world, worldwide Google.com research, search trends worldwide on Google.com. Regarding the ac academic outputs, a search on Google Scholar show good interest from academic in this field. The combination of, of keywords used to have to have an effective combination of the three research domain travel, technology for travel technology, technology for development and tourist for development, they retrieve an average of thirteen thousand uh, 541 documents over 10 years from nine, uh, 2009 to uh, 2019. Although this cannot be taken as a picture of the world research domain given the issues of rep representation, uh, redundancy and relevance of the search re results. It gives an interesting indication of the popularity of the topic among researchers. This figure shows scholar google.com for e tourist for development trends from 2015 to 2019. E tourism for development, therefore, postulates that moving from this macro research area, digital technology and ICTs in general can have an impact on local community. In fact, as stated by Akama and Kiet, tourism a level of development tourism as a level of development should overcome reductions approach and its success should not merely be measured in terms of the increase in arrivals and revenues but based on how tourism is integrated with the local and national economies and its contribution to the overall development of the local community In this vein, it's postulated here that it's no 
not by expanding the size of the tourist sector that development and or impact is achieved but the impact should be seen more in its ability to unlock opportunities for the poor within the industry in this way tourists can be understood as one of many development strategies and could create synergies with other approaches to enhance community development and poverty alleviation this is where following the e-tourism for development approach technology can, ha can have an impact in supporting local social economic development